in our crock pot so in my bowl here I got two packages of onion soup mix and we're going to add one cup of chicken broth to that I'm going to use chicken stock because that's what I have okay so I use chicken stock or chicken broth we need two cans of cream of chicken and two cans of cream of mushroom. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in here. There's one. And here's our second can. We're gonna get that one in here. All right. And then we're gonna get our two um, cream of mushrooms in here. in here and we're going to mix this together and we're going to put this over top of our pork roast in the crock pot and we're going to put it on low for eight hours all right so we're going to get this a little mix together try not to spill it everywhere because i think i got a little bit of splashy splash Okay, so I'm going to mix this together, and then we're going to add a dash of pepper. All right, so we're just going to put a little bit of pepper in here. You don't need any salt. Try to use low sodium if you have it. And you can season the salt and pepper if you want to taste it, but I'm not going to add any salt. People can salt their own stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this over top of our meat. We're going to cook this for eight hours on low in our crock pot. And then once that's all done, we're going to take it out and we're going to take all the bones out of it and put our meat back in there. And then we're going to put a little bit of flour in there to thicken that up for some gravy. All right, y'all. So here is my pork roast. We're going to go ahead and pour this over top of this. Okay. Let's get all that goodie in there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in our crock pot and we're going to get this all ready to go in eight hours. So we'll see you back here in a little bit. Get that all down in there. It's a big boy. Our crock pot may be almost too small. All right, y'all. We'll be back here in a little while. All right, y'all. So we got our pork roast. It's all done. It was eight hours, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull all the fat off and we're going to put um, all the meat to a side and we're going to put that back into our crock pot here in a bit after I get this peeled together. So we're just going to peel all the fat off. You want to discard all that stuff and keep all the meat. Okay, we'll be back here in a few minutes. All right, everyone. So I got my meat here all pulled. All right. I got it in a bowl. Here's all the liquid that was left from the pork roast. So now, what I'm going to do is we're going to add four tablespoons of flour to our gravy mix. So let me get that together here. And we're going to whisk that together. And then we're going to put our pork back in there. So, I'll let that all come together all right so just whisk it up so everything is combined okay you may have a little lumps but it'll come out so i'm going to let this cook for another half hour on low it will thicken up pretty quick So now what we're going to do is we're just going to put our pork back in here without splattering it all over the place. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to let this cook again for about a half hour on low. Let everything come together. All right. So then you can make some mashed potatoes. Or even some biscuits and put this stuff over top and it will be delicious 
So again, you don't have to do this much if you have a smaller pork roast. But I had this one and I had to use it up. So that's what I'm going to do. And just cut it straight in half if you're going to do it that way. So I have cookbooks that are available for those of you who have been asking and interested in those. I'll put a link above and below in the comments for that. I also take a check or take PayPal. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful, blessed afternoon. Give this a try. Let us know how you like it. And if you have any, any kind of questions whatsoever, just get in contact with me. Okay? Have a blessed day, guys.